Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Honor Mode playthrough through our channel here of Shadow Realm Fiction. This is episode 10, and we like hitting the double digits and cool numbers and celebrating that fact. So, uh, yes, we're on episode 10, and that is, let's see here, let's... Okay, so there's that on the headset. But anyhow, so um, we are going to be dealing with the Dragar and whatever else we can because we are on the road of trying to get to level five. And right now we've got basically give or take a thousand more experience once we're level five we can go back up to the top and deal with some other stuff so it has been a hot moment all this uh so we're going to hide to yeah so that knocks us down we're still going to take this slow. So there's a lot of enemies in this area. But... I think as long as we don't attract... Too many at a given time, we should be good. So, we got the birds. We're going to leave the birds. There's a drought over there that we're going to try and deal with too. But we're going to try and systematically take these enemies out at a good range. So, what I'm gonna do is we're going to split, split, split. We're going to get Astarion prepped. I don't want anything too close to an edge. Come on, let's go. And then Karlak is gonna be an upfront person. Saving right there. So it's knocked down. Action. Someone there. Very, very quiet. All of us except you. Okay. We don't mind. Still in shadow. Unheard. Unseen. Getting everybody up close. Closer. See what this holds for us. I was trying to concentrate. The element of surprise. Okay. With every breath, a purpose. Does this count as adventuring? He's going to jump out and he sees. Enemies on important enemies throughout your adventure will be more powerful in honor mode. Yes, we knew that. So, right now, we only have uh, these two, Sasha and Karlak, that have been spotted. So, with that Just said, waiting. the reason we split these guys is so we can do something like this. So, we're going to get... We're gonna... We're gonna get all the warriors. Oh, 
up over behind it. Because, honestly, we just want to take this nice and slow. Everything nice and right. It's all about getting everybody prepped. So he's got 162 health. That's a lot. Okay. Staying out then... of sight. All right, so we're going to do a menacing. Let's see, what do we got? What is our options here? What is going to do us the best? So let's take a look through here. Um, let's see, scrolls. Gaseous form, flaming sphere, hold person. We might make somebody use hold person if they can't get in range. So instead, we're going to do a menacing. Okay, that's good. Next up, Astarian. We're going to sneak attack. Okay, Astarion's joined. Uh, next up is you. Multi-attack. Target must be prone. Hmm. So he's got fist. Okay, you've joined the battle. Dead Drugar. He's got fist or ranged attack. Okay, so now everybody is in combat. So we'll jump to character in turn. I think with this that her best option is to use that scroll and hopefully it works. Where'd it go? Third person. He must be human in it. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Scrolls. Um, um Burning hands, darkness, detect thoughts, glyph of warding, gaseous form. So, bonus action, frenzy. Oh, well, I didn't realize that. Well, I've made some mistakes here, but it's okay. Eighteen. Um, we're gonna bonus action hide. Keep the rogue. Keep the rogue sneaky. Uh, before we end his turn. Frightened. Okay. What path lies before me? Uh, let's see what we got here now for some stuff. Uh, does thunder damage. Get that going. Bonus action. Fly shield of faith. 
Okay, we're gonna do that. Glut's turn. Back in the zone. Uh, next up, end of turn. Can't really do anything with his, but we can action surge the Zale, and then we're going to menacing attack melee. So we're about at half health. Uh, she's got a second wind and a bonus action. Looks like she can use scrolls. So let's go through scrolls. Um, not enough resources. Okay, so she can bonus action. Let's see. Let's do this smartly. Potions. She can bonus action what she has probably in. Uh, let's see. What does this do? Featherfall. Potion. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pass it. So, Carlac's frenzied now. Oh, she has. I was like, wait, why doesn't she have her? Uh, reckless attack, so we gain advantage. Yep. And then, frenzied strike. Nice. Nystarian's gonna take his. Perfect. Bonus action. Hide. Roulette's gonna attack again. Miss because of the high. Perfect. Perfect. Azel. Let's do another menacing attack. Not quite enough. Um nothing important is ever easy. Swift as my feet can carry me. We're just gonna try and end this before it even begins. Honestly, not bad. That's how we want all these fights to go. see just for giggles <laughs> we got a boulette for our <laughs> uh, for our animated spores um, I don't know I don't think he can heal himself so we're gonna take care of the other enemies here shortly. Let's hide and then. Let's see what you're hiding. Why aren't we unhiding? Is it now a different weapon? Oh. I don't want to pickpocket. Huh. Is my button not working? Did they change how you, we can all mass unhide? The rock under your in memory of Myrna, a shining light, and as you dig, something's etched into this collar. I can't read it. Too bad. Huh. I don't know why I can't. Turn 
Did it... Have we glitched? It lets me hide using that. Did they give it a new hotkey? Let's see. doesn't have a good answer to why. Uh, let's try using ranged weapons, using melee weapons. We all kind of want to take it slow here, but it would be massively annoying if they got rid of the... Uh, let's... We don't have a short rest, so we're doing this... Uh, let's split you. And I want to engage the bird from far. Cause there the thing about it is there's birds all up in this business over here. That's where the drow's hiding out. And he has some more information actually for us. But I think if this bird comes a little bit closer, we can we can, yeah, start this battle off right. not going to let us make a normal sneak attack. That's pro. Damn it. Well, that's sort of sucked. There's a 15. Okay, here's where the rest of us come into play is we're going to bring everybody over here. The brulette was seen. Don't be shy. Just all arrow this guy. Glutz. Uh. Glutz. Glutz. Glutton. Section. We don't have the. 
put him up. Coming up this way, making a range attack. Critical miss. Uh, nah, not worth it. Time to push my luck again. Miss. We have no more rage. But we can pick up frenzied attack. Nice. Yeah. Do that with us. Let's ail. Miss. We're all doing well. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would. Oof. If there's any way to. Get this guy to have some come fun. off of here without. Mm. My joy. don't know where his eyesight's at. But we rolled high enough. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, I'd rather keep him. No, I don't want that. That's a pushing attack. Let's do a menacing attack. Frightened. Sweet. And then back down. I don't mind if the bird comes down here. And actually, we want to stay away from cliff edges. Well, well. Carlax can get spotted too. But that's okay. If we can get him down, I'm less concerned about the bird. be honest. And that's a miss. Uh, let's move you here. Oops, I did not mean to press. Guess the boulette's already been seen. Okay, we are I've missed this. Sweet. 
He was frightened. Missed my shield. for a bit. Then we're gonna get all the warriors up here. Got the wizard before he could do anything. Um, we're gonna miss the step ourselves. Over here. Bye forever, pal. That's good. Let's get Karlek up there. Wailing on this guy. So we got 90 points. And my character. Uh. Piercing. No, we're gonna do it. Yep. Searing Smite. I don't know if that Lizelle will be able to reach, but we will make, uh, disarming is not going to do a thing. We can blind, I think. No, I don't think that's going to do anything great. We can't fear him, but we can piercing strike him and miss. Bonus action. Too heavy to shove. Where do I go from here? Okay. Abjure frightened enemy. They'll have disadvantage on ability attacks and tech rolls, and they cannot move. Or we're gonna do Legacy of Avernus. Somehow I was off aim. Uh, but don't know how. We're gonna vow of enmity him. Oh, you messed up, sir. <laughs> Thirty two points of damage. hit him. Not enough range, so Time we'll just... Get Karlak down here. Let's... all that good stuff. Wish I had been able to hit with my flaming hands of fury. 
Let's see. I think I can also rush attack. Bacor path is interrupted. Summon Scratch, Lacerate. Too long rest, most likely, but we're gonna group up. Because there's another bird over there, and we're, we are gonna deal with that bird. Okay, so... Just they had to have changed it. Controller. Hide party. Previous target. Weapon set. Next target. Toggle light source jump. Toggle cursor. saying I should turn off the karmic die, but I don't know if I'm brave enough. Okay. This is the one that was up here? No, it's not. Not even. But we're gonna take all the XP for all it's worth. Especially before we do long rest. And the title of this is the Draugar, which we do want to deal with. We just... 
aren't dealing with yet. Okay, everybody split. Nice. Getting ourselves all set up. Let's find some prey. hurt so we're just gonna put you over there and time out So, how we're going to do this one... Target is too far, it says, eh? Successful. Fail. Okay, we're both in range of this thing. Nine. Uh, and I kind of. but okay uh, it'd be wild if it jumped on us from that height but Woo, well we hit that so we'll take it time for a cull. victory awaits um, we're just gonna let him Uh, let's see. A core boop mess. Let fight. Critical hit at 59. Uh, get this guy. Dash him the fuck away. I 
know when you're going to need stuff. I don't know what the hooks would be used for, but... We have a side mission. Right there. Okay, so with that done... The forge of the blacksmith's house should do. anything more that we need to really worry about over around here if you're watching the stream and you know of something let us know oh, I could go for a good meal uh, let's get everybody I don't want the, the big guy to, to jump on us per se but we do want to rest before we go deal with the Draugar and then we've got that castle that we need to deal with too. Big old jump. Big old jump again. This will keep him over there long enough for us to get back before Masuta decides to do anything brash. Okay, let's see if he uses Deadly Leap to get back over here. He does not. Okay. I'm hoping this doesn't negate these two but we do need to take a long rest so long rest it is we're at 40 minutes here which is great oh look at that they're just right there there's a volo we rescued him ah my good fellow Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> How do you Why, know I'm mind flares? practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. Really? The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. I fucked yeah. one of them. On the Sword Coast? Impossible. Not only have I encountered mind flare, that, I've killed one. That can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, boy. or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to really? hear their dark mind, whispers. You say? Unless... Hmm. Are you familiar with the process of ceramorphosis? That is what happens when a mind flare parasite infects a living host. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet gods! 
I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. This should be totally trustful, though. Okay, so we got some Good new inventory stuff. Uh, she's wearing, yeah, the thing we stole. But we just got some, whenever you wear, uh, damage the wearer, the wearer gains wrath. So we... Okay. Did that change too much of what we were wearing? Oh, yeah, because Karlak has barbarian clothes. Oh, we can't see it right now, anyways. Uh, when she wears armor, she loses uh, her arm piece right here. Let's make sure we have nothing else. Where does distant damage? Boots of speed. Keep a blade close. Uh, he. Blackets will be done. Still alive, so that's okay, progress. I have. Oh, we're gonna keep the sparks on me. I think for the other fighter, we're actually gonna give her so she can dash up because she doesn't have any extra stuffs now. going on. 119. Let's go ahead and open. Uh, open. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. We don't need the gold or that or the floppy hat. Or any of that. Let's just put that away too. All of that good stuff. I don't need boots with us right here, right this second. Perfect. Okay. Going to sleep the easiest way. For, we've got a lot going on here. We're just going to go from the bottom up until we get to 80. Close to 80. Perfect. I prefer be being right on the money. Dun, dun, dun. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Santa Claus. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought a mind flayer might know how to extricate one of its own from you. But Ormeloum couldn't help you. Your tadpole lives. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Ormeloum is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the best source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed. Any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Omeluum realized this before he attempted a fatal extraction. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I have kept a careful you know watch on the movements of the cult. Though the Absolute's aims are not yet clear to me. Its methods are... These parasites are more than illithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute. 
and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them makes obey. Them when the obey. order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. We I share a common you. cause and a common enemy. Allegiances have yeah, been you built sound like a less. politician, though. We are alike. You and I. I Just doubt like it. you, I was infected with a You're mind human. flayer parasite. I'm a tiefling. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where sure. I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. Uh -huh. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Okay, creepy Santa Claus. That I already designed. Alright, long rest. We gotta get to what we said we would in this episode, which is... Uh, we're not gonna talk to Volo right this second. Uh, dealing with the Draugr. Okay, so these guys did not heal up. I don't know how to kill them up. But I do know how... So, the... Could go. There's a beholder there. What do I want to do? We're going to deal with the Draugr. Just is what it is. I keep getting distracted. No longer. No longer distracted. We're going we're gonna to go. Just do it. Okay, so. Um. Everybody down. Uh, split, split, group, group. Gosh, better boots. Actually, I don't want to split us that bad. Looks like an ambush. What? Gek? Got someone sneaking up on us? Where'd my wall at go? So this guy, he's level seven. Not, not great, but so far it's okay. So far we can't see everyone. 
So instead, we're going to Over here. deal with what we can. And we've got a full surprise round to deal with it. Nice. Hunter's Mart. Surprise, surprise, perfect. Uh, we... Click heals, that's bonus action, but... Actually, yeah, let's. Oh, he is up here. <laughs> Jump to character and turn. We were over here, so oh, let's get. Um, Wrathful Smite. Can't. Why can't we make a sing? Oh, it moved. attack frenzy good and turn lazelle Sucks. Hide. This guy is gonna start. Yeah.
Mazelle. Frightened. Let's brush attack. Okay, and then we're gonna bonus action also do that, but there's two on him and he's frightened. servant, but where is he in? To the shadows. Okay, he's going to take his turn. Frightened. Rage ended. Inquisitor's Might, Radiant Damage, Mage Hand, Lay on Hands, Benchmark.
Okay. Brighton. Actually. Critical miss. Lovely. We love those. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Okay. counter spell on me now but okay he's gonna make it up or not Guy, this fucking fool. <laughs> Click heels. Jimmy on the go. Carlac, deal I with it. Enlarge, she's level four. Already tried disarming. Next. Provokes opportunity to. Dang it.
he's high. Am I not raged? Oh, I am raged. Miss. But I want to be up in your business. Okay, we are running out of options, people for these two, so I think it's 90 more advantage. Enlarge. We're gonna go and do great. But potions. We're gonna try and keep ourselves up. 24. Well, so and turn. Okay. Uh what we got here? Oh, it's a non-lethal attack. That's why it didn't work. Okay. Lay in hands. 16. It's just going to have to be what it is. Critical hit. Good. One more down. And keeping Astarian out. Ooh, that was not a good hit. Come on, Karlak, you got this. Perfect. We're doing fairly all right. Piercing strike. Perfect. Bonus action. Seventeen. Standing in way. Sasha. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I have no spell slots. Push won't do anything. Okay, those two are hopefully gonna take on those, so we're going to go ahead and smack. Uh, and then kill motion. It's just what we got right now. Oof. Nice, okay. Next up. Still held on, so then we'll come around and get him like that. And if it brought us up in the fight, reckless attack, critical hit, we like that. Frenzy strike, perfect. Uh, what do we got? We got nothing in the tank special. Yeah, it's not gonna push him off the roof for us. So we might be able to survive a hit. 
Okay, dude, can we, how heavy can we hit with our last rate critical hit? We're also going to pop, I'm hoping that. Okay, Gazelle's down. Okay, we're going to disengage. Boop. We got this fight, guys. We got it. Perfect. Please hit this. Perfect. Good job, Carlac. Carlac's a tank. Carlac is a tank. And she's only going to get better at level 5. Uh, Lazelle's down, but we've got still lay on hands. I wish it would follow through even after. That was a nice heal. Back in the fray. Done. That was a crit hit. We survived. I knew that that was going to be a hard fight. I was a little bit anticipating that we were going to have more reinforcement uh, for the story aspect of it. The fungus monster that we had was going to betray us unless we then turned around and killed all of the fungi up top. So either which way. We would have had an extended fight. We're going to short rest there, and we're going to... Novice Grimoire. Bunch of reanimated corpses. Okay, so... Nothing special there. I don't think we need that. Faded logbook. Nothing crazy. Here's another one, Lurgan. And then, oops, oops. I'll go back up here. Exterminator axe. And then we are gonna go down here. So, in a later episode, we've got more that we need to do in just this area, but in a later episode, we're going to go across the boat, and we're going to hope... How much inspiration do we have? We have one inspiration. I don't know if we're going to get another... That might be worth a look. Well stitched Shatchel. Oops, we didn't mean to take that, take that with us. So there's uh, Ancient Sigil there. There's a net up to this house. We'll go check that out. We're just... Let's see, we only... Oh, we're almost at our max that I want. Not our max. We're getting close to where I'd say is good for an episode. Fish, executed deep gnome, potion of healing. We like all of that. I'm gonna go up this way. Uh, we're gonna head back and let the fungi people know. Hey, all's all's well that ends well. Uh, up this way. Let's see. Yeah, is the tower. We've got a beholder to deal with, but we definitely want to wait till we're level 5 to deal with the beholder so speaking of that 
We've got about 500 more XP that we need to try and get before we deal with the Beholder. Nothing crazy that we can get from there. We could have probably set up our party to do some stuff here and there. This guy is just kind of stuck here. We're okay with that. As long as we don't have to deal with him again. So to wrap up this episode, we're going to head over back to the fungi people. Then we're going to prep ourselves and just get ourselves uh, situated to go deal with that tower over there. It's hard to see because you can't you can only pan so much. But there is a tower over there that has some loot that we're interested in. Maybe some uh, fights as well. It just depends ultimately on how the rolls go. We're trying to save our inspiration for the ferry right over. Because the ferry right over has the potential to screw us. Uh, because it is a very sh small space and a lot of enemies. If we roll decently enough, we should be able to get over and all should be well. Okay. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. Sweet. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Not much in here, but except some clues this, about... I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergarb light, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow. Striding among Myconid dead. Yep. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. And I will know my circle is safe. <laughs> Do you see? Indulge one demand and it only breeds another. Lazelle. Chill. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Sweet. Okay, so that's done there. We open the door. We're going to grab the stuff and then get prepped for the, the, the tower. And to be honest, we might not finish all of his stuff. Ooh. Okay, before I forget, we, we got a little bit more. We got like 10 minutes more, maybe. We're gonna go teleport around a bit. The cover proudly announces this book to be Flumph Mating Rituals. Huh. Uh. I suck at Wow, the roll rolled right. Too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Nice. I already kind of know how to do that because I've done uh, this particular. The wizard's notes mention the guardian, right? OK. 
Okay, so there's that. Uh, scrolls. Maybe I need more pockets. Anything that can maybe hold food or whatnot. There's a sack. Okay, so what I was going to say is um, we need to fast travel because we need to craft something. Uh, and basically, after we craft something, we'll come back here. Let's see, Underdark, Mykonoi Colony. We'll actually probably just travel back to the beach. That way we're below the tower. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Fast travel, blighted village. Should be fine here. As you can see, just a refresher for myself since it's been like over a week since I've done this. Plenty of stuff to do up here still. Uh, we got a whole fight up here. We got a thing here. We got a thing to do down here. All sorts of goodies. We got a fight underneath here. There's, there's plenty to do. Uh, it'd be nice to be level 6 before we left Act 1, but we'll see. Uh, for now, we're gonna go... I put something in here. I don't know what the bliss spores do, so let's see characteristics. Affected entity has uh, 1d6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws until the next long rest. Which is fine. Okay, so. I think I left. I want to make a sickle this time. I don't know why, but I do. Time to get fine. this thing fired up. Oh, it's. I'm no fine. metalsmith, but I believe I need some fire. Uh, sort. Wait. Okay, not you. No one back home will ever believe this. Sort, wait. Wait, no. Combine. It is an Astorians. Combine. Sort, value. Oh, that's very valuable. Okay. We gotta find it. Oh. Uh, Susur Bark Tree. It is gold. Well, I simply need a great sword, dagger, or sickle. Sickle's kind of a unique weapon that you don't really see, so that's why we went with a sickle. Maybe it would have been better to do. The great sword, but okay. So we just got a sickle. 
Uh, silences target on hit. That's kind of neat. Well, hello. Okay, so we got him two swords. I don't know if this is considered light. It is considered light. Okay, we're going to actions unequip and give him so he has a silence because he's he's sneaky sneaky. Okay, now that we've got that done, let's see how much more we have to. We okay, quite literally, we have 300 experience to go before level five. Uh, so we are doing great, to be honest. I think we should get 300 before the end of this next episode that we do, but we might have to scrounge up a little bit more XP. Uh, let's see. Fast travel. Under dark. Beach. And all I'm doing right now is getting us set up for the next episode that we might roll out here shortly. Um, oh, wrong. No, this was the right one. Dang. It's easy to get yourself turned around. I think there's a big spot. of reach. Not too interested in shooting down a necklace. I don't think it... Glorious vaulting. Well, you never know when you need stuff. Simple boots. Nothing crazy. Didn't think there would be. It's just a gold. It's worth money. I'm not too I'm certain you could shoot it down, but. Whatevs. We good. We good. So, we wouldn't actually know about this area, but this area, there is, yeah, dead drow. Um, this is the back half of another dungeon that we'll end up going to, but we're going to... Whoops. Well, there's that. Okay. Okay, I want to see if... Okay, now our button's working again. Okay, so we're going to start off the next episode from here because the tower's there. Um, there's... Lots of things we have to do in this specific area, but there's turrets that auto target you and just start kind of a general pain in the ass. So, um, yeah, that's kind of that. We might end up swapping some boots around over to Astarion because Astarion is going to be our main main rider. <laughs> Um, till we can shut down the turrets in this next episode. So, perfect. That was a good episode. We took care of the Draugr, um, dealt with some high-level fights there that, you know, we took out a level 7 as a party. So, we're, we're doing well. Uh, once we're level 5, we should, I will 
feel a little bit more confident because then I'm uh, we get double attacks for most of these peeps outside of even just Karlac. Uh, and yeah, we keep on rock and rolling. So we'll see you shortly. Just gonna save. I know it doesn't do much, but anywho, we will see you in the next episode.